guys, it's Michelle. Uh, surprise, don't I look pretty? I have to do this video really fast because I only have like 15 minutes until my face sets. I wanted to talk to you guys about some of my favorite face masks today, or this evening. Actually, it's 4 or 10 in the morning. <laughs> my dog woke me up, so I decided to get up and take a shower and wash my hair and put on some face masks. And in doing so, I thought, you know, I would share a few of my favorites with you guys. This will be part one of a who knows how long part series, but uh, this is the first one. I'm going to do so I can review a few. I'm out of a couple of my favorite ones that I want to share with you, so I'll save those till later. Um, but I wanted to share these with you. The one that I have on right now is this. This is by Freeman. This is the Mint and Lemon Clay Mask. Uh, it's for breakouts and oily skin. It controls oil and breakouts. But I have normal skin, and I still use this one. I don't tend to get breakouts, but I'm having a little bit of odd redness in my cheeks. And uh, I did have one little tiny bump that was starting to come up on my chin, so I figured I'd go ahead and use that one this week. Um, it smells minty and lemony, just like it says. It kind of um, it smells a lot of clay. It doesn't smell that great, but it works really, really well, and it tightens up well. That's why I like this one. It tightens my face. <laughs> Um, and Freeman makes some really good ones. The second one is also Freeman, and I love this one because it's a peel-off mask. My favorite masks are peel-off masks because I feel like it pulls the gunk out of my skin, and I can't stand that feeling. This is the Clearing Sweet Tea and Lemon Peel-Off Clay Mask. It is for normal combo skin, which is me. Uh, instantly removes impurities and tones for radiant skin. And it's also a pretty color when you put it on. I like the one that I have on right now, which is kind of a green color. This one is a, a clay color, like a terracotta color almost and it's kind of pretty when I put these two on I wear them for 10 to 15 minutes like it says and 15 minutes tops because otherwise especially the peel off one it's kind of hard to get off speaking of masks that are a little difficult to get off there's this one but I like this one so I'm sharing it with you anyway I had a little trouble getting it off I think next time I'll just leave it on for 10 minutes instead of 15 you do what your body tells you to do um, but I think I left it on a couple minutes too long. It says 10 to 15 minutes as well. This is a mask bar rose gold foil peel off mask. And, um, I got this at CVS. The other two I got at five below, but I've seen them in other places. I think Walmart may sell them. I'm not sure, but this one I think was like $3 or something. It helps moisturize dry skin and we're starting to come into the fall and winter months. So I'm probably going to save this one and use it a little later in the fall. Um, I have a whole collection of masks and I've gone through tons of them. I sent my daughter off to college with probably 25 masks, so she has a few of my masks. <laughs> the next one I got at Rite Aid, which is a local drugstore. Uh, Walgreens is buying Rite Aid out, so you may be able to find this at Walgreens. This is the Daylogic Anti-Aging Gel. It's kind of a mask, kind of not a mask. It says cleanse face and neck before bed, apply a generous amount of mask to face and neck, massage gently, leave on overnight, and no need to rinse. This is one that kind of sinks into your skin. It kind of feels like a serum. It's clear and really light. Let me put a little bit on for you. I mean, you can't see anything. It's just like a, a very creamy serum type thing. You can kind of see the shine on my hand. Um, it doesn't really smell like anything. The rose gold one doesn't really smell like anything either to me. I can't stand to put things around my nose that smell too bad. So this this is probably the extreme that I'll go for smelly masks. This is a green one that I have on, which is the lemon and mint one. Um, next, I have something that I also got at Five Below. This is a cotton candy scented face mask. I like sheet masks. I gotta tell you, I would use sheet masks six to seven times a week if I had enough of them. I don't think that they do any damage to my skin. Uh, if you have sensitive skin, you probably wouldn't want to do that. I'm not recommending that anybody follow my face regimen. I'm just want to tell you about some of these little masks that I've tried. This one is also from Five Below. The instructions are dry face before opening, unfold mask and apply, remove mask after 10 to 15 minutes, and gently massage face, rinse thoroughly. That's like most sheet masks that you use. I mean, the instructions are pretty much the same. Um, it's really not that difficult to use, and these smell amazing. I had cotton candy, had birthday cake. They came in all kinds of scents, and they were like four for five dollars or something, or five for five dollars. I think they were five for five dollars because they're a dollar twenty-five a piece. Those are dirt cheap, but they didn't break me out. They seem to work just as well as any other sheet mask I've tried. Uh, I gotta say, Walmart has a huge selection of face masks these days. And my favorite one, which I'll try in another video, is one of those. I'm not gonna mention what it is. You're just gonna have to stay tuned in the next video when I look ridiculous and my face feels like it's going to crack. 
because it's starting to get to that third of the way through the phase. I can tell it's been at least five minutes because it's starting to tighten up. I'm not really sure if I'm going to make it through this whole video without my face cracking. <laughs> the last thing I wanted to share in this video is something that I was taught by a friend of ours. I don't recommend that anybody do this because you might get burned, so don't do it at home. I'm just telling you what I do. This is coconut oil, virgin coconut oil that you get in a jar. Smells absolutely <laughs> like heaven on earth. Smells so good. I mean, you can cook with this stuff too. So, you know, if you've got really oily skin, I don't recommend you do this. But this is the Spectrum brand. I'm sure there are tons of brands. Um, I need to get a new jar. This one's getting a little bit old. But you can get this in most organic food sections, uh, probably Whole Foods, um, Trader Joe's, places like that. Um, I believe I got mine at Kroger in the International Foods or the Whole or the Whole food type section, um, organic foods, somewhere over there. But I get the big jar because we do this on our hands as well. What we do is we put about a quarter of a cup to half a cup in a bowl and you microwave it for 30 seconds and you stir and you microwave it for 30 seconds and you stir until it's a good consistency. It's all liquid and it's not too hot to touch. And then you get a washcloth and you put really as hot as you can stand water on it. Just, you know, really warm water will do. You apply with your fingers or sponge or brush, whatever you want, the warmed up coconut oil all over your face. Then you lay the wash rag over your face and let it sit for five minutes. It's relaxing. It smells like, like I said, heaven in a jar. It's just yummy. It reminds you of the beach in summertime. And um, especially if you have really dry skin, I do this sometimes in the fall and winter. I don't really do it in the summer months, but it, especially in the winter when I'm feeling kind of dry. And you let the washcloth, just the heat from the washcloth kind of helps it sink into your face. And it just is so soothing and uh, relaxing. And then you wash your face with the wash rag after five minutes. And, you know, I also have done my hands and I let my hands sit with washcloths on top of them. And it makes your skin so silky smooth and it's just an amazing feeling. Also, I recommend, you know, while you're doing that, you can always lay cucumbers on your eyes or put on some kind of cooling eye mask. One tip that I do want to give you, and I learned this a long time ago when I was selling Mary Kay, do not ever put anything around your eyes, like a mask or anything, above the bone right here. I can't remember. I think it's called the occipital bone or something like that. Somebody correct me. I'm sure I'm wrong, but there's a bone here. You can feel it. Do not go above that because the heat from your body will allow the product to spread up into your eyes and it'll burn like crazy. So you want to keep it outside of the bone on your skull right around here. Don't ever go below that or above that. And you should be okay as far as around your eye area goes. Um, this is starting to harden. It's been about eight minutes now, <laughs> probably nine minutes since I put it on. Um, what I'm going to do with this mask that I have on is go wash it off with really warm water. And then I'm going to take my, uh, why do I always forget the, the name of this stuff? Um, the water, you know what I'm talking about? I always want to say myoclonic water, but that's not right. It sounds like colonic water. Wow, big difference. Micellar water. Thank you, Michelle. You take your micellar water on your little cotton ball or whatever you have and just do a second rinse to make sure that you got the whole mask off. And then put your favorite serum or moisturizer or whatever on it. You should be good to go. Sometimes I do these in the morning. Sometimes I do them at night before I go to sleep. And then I'll put like this anti-aging gel on and sleep in this. Um, do what feels right to you because I don't ever want you to do something to your face that causes you to break out. So those are my tips on these masks and I'll be doing more as soon as I can get my hands on some of my other favorite masks because like I said, my daughter took several of them at college. Actually, I made her take them because they have face mask night at college. I highly recommend that. It's kind of like a slumber party um, and they have a lot of fun with it. And what girl doesn't like to relax and you know chill with her friends? So it's a good idea. And um, I'll do another video on these, but I'm going to have to go wash my face in just a second because it's really starting to tighten up and I almost can't talk. <laughs> you guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Join me again and we'll talk about life and love and shoes and shopping and lipstick and whatever pops into my head. Thank you to my new subscribers. I see that my views are up and I'm getting more subscribers every day and I can't believe you guys have been gracious enough to join me, but I really appreciate it. Please share the video down below and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, we'll get together and we'll talk about all things, you know, fun and relaxing and whatever I can think of. 
You guys have a wonderful, blessed day. I'm going to go wash off my face and use my micellar water to clean off my face. Bye. I can't smile. <laughs>